Hello lovelies, it's Robin here with Oracle Rising. Welcome here to my channel. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the new moon in June. <laughs> I'm rhyming. Okay, so there's a new moon coming in on June 10th. It's going to be entering the sign of Gemini. And there's also a solar eclipse of the moon. So it's going to be a very electric time for you guys. So I'm going to talk about some of the aspects, attributes of Gemini that will be available to all zodiac signs. And then I have one, two, three, five points that spiritual connection or spiritual advantages available to you with the new moon in June on June 10th with solar eclipse in the zodiac sign of Gemini. So I usually use the deviant moon uh, deck to help me out with this, but I was guided to use the witch's tarot. I feel a bit of a sneeze coming on here, so hopefully I don't have to pause. But okay, so some of the aspects of the zodiac sign of Gemini, very outgoing. So you could feel a little bit of an extra boost of chattiness or, you know, just really wanting to connect to other people. I love this second one. Gemini can be a little bit inquisitive and I wrote down nosy. So you could uh, find yourself asking questions of people that you might not normally inquire. Um, being very impulsive, uh, smart, over analytical and flighty. Okay, so those are all very interesting aspects of Gemini. And I know some Geminis and this is pretty bang on. Um, so I did write down, like I said before, five things that should be available to all zodiac signs. And this is going to be a time to start something new. So you could have like a very uh, high impulse to start something new. And we did write down impulsive as one of the aspects of Gemini. I'm just going to do a deck cut on the Witch's Tarot here and we'll pull a card to do with that. So start something new. Okay, so this is really interesting. Um starting something new okay so there's the four of swords so you might definitely want to meditate on it ask your guides about it i feel like this camera angle is a little bit high here we go that's a little bit better so take a minute and set your intention what is it that you want to start anything in your life a new routine a new regime a new friendship love affair business, um, job, whatever it is, a move. Really try and visualize it. Sit down and talk to your higher self. Talk to whatever guide that you resonate with the most. Talk to one of your angels, your ancestors. So the Four of Swords is saying, you know, exercise some caution. Speak to your intuition. Uh, don't rush in, you know, when you move too fast, that there could be a possibility to make mistakes. So absolutely take your time and make sure that you're putting one foot in front of the other in the right way as you step out onto a new path. So starting something new can also be very daunting for people. Um, so getting the advice of your team and spirit and your ancestors and your guides is so helpful. They can give you uh, visions of what you need to do. Um, really bring in like sparks of brain power, uh, give you answers that you might not never have thought of on your own. Uh, it might be a good time to travel as well. So where I live, we're still like in a huge lockdown, but I know that other places in the world you might be opening up and have the availability or the possibility to travel which I miss dearly um, I like to go to one new place a year like a different country or or whatever and I haven't been able to do that so I'm really looking forward to travel once again I like to go to like semi exotic locations because I have for a, a thing for like frilly cocktails on the beach. <laughs> uh, so let's have a card for that. And here's the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so here's something he's ready to move forward, but he's also saving money for it. So holding money, just really make sure that your bank account can handle it. Like look at the financial aspects of where you want to go. What is your money worth where you're about to travel? 
um do you need to spend tons and tons of money on a hotel like is there something more economical for you to do so that you can have like a really good time while you're there uh, do you need the most expensive flight are you booking your flight on the right day you know i i read somewhere that booking travel on a tuesday is the best price um there's also lots of apps that can give you alerts like you can just punch in where it is that you want to go and it'll give you flight alerts like hey this is a really good deal so really think about your money when you travel because if you spend all of your money on a flight and a hotel you still have to pay for whatever it is your entertainment and meals when you get there uh, my favorite thing is going to visit somebody i know where i'm off to so hopefully you know you can stay with them and not have to spend a whole ton of money on hotels although i really do enjoy staying in a nice hotel like i stayed in a really nice resort when i was in cuba and it was super fun um but when I went to Florida, like me and my sister, we stayed at, it was a nice place, but it wasn't too posh or fancy, um, you know, and it left us <clears throat> lots of room to like have a nightlife, a social life and do shopping. So you guys saw a card flip out of the deck. So I'm going to use that for making new connections. Okay. So making new connections in any area of your life and the card that came out here is oh okay so there's the four of cups the four of cups is saying you know don't miss out on this opportunity somebody could be standing right in front of you asking and i'm thinking of that scene from uh notting hill i'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her you could get a friend request from somebody that you don't know you know, you can just search people. New people coming into your life just sort of unannounced can be a little bit jarring, but I think social media has really changed the way that we meet new people. Like, and now we're a little bit more nervous or afraid to give people our contact information. But I mean, is there still phone books in place where your actual name and address and phone number would be published for all the world to see? But things have changed so dramatically and I think it makes people a little nervous to make that connection because you're all wary about them and now it's just, it, we're really inundated with scams and what can go wrong, but things will go right for you too and you could miss up on an opportunity to meet the love of your life or meet a really good business connection or just really make a good friend. So. Like, try not to get too nervous about stuff like that. Because if you do find out that it's the wrong person, you know, you can block them. They're, it's just as easy as that. Just don't be giving people your banking information or send people money. Like, be smart about it too. Okay, so connecting to your dream life. Like, what does your dream life look like? Do you have a vision board? Do you have your affirmations? You know, where you want to live, where you want your love life to look like, your financial stability. Do you have that all written down so that you have it to refer to? Um, so connecting to that, or maybe set an intention before you go to bed for your guides to visit you in your sleep so that you can have really good like intuitive dreams and ask to remember the dream too because sometimes you just wake up and you've spent all this time working in your sleep and you forget everything so uh let's have a card for connecting to your dream life i don't feel like i'm ready okay and i'm gonna pull the top one here hold on so you have the king of cups okay so this is a reminder for you guys i'll show you to stay emotionally connected to your dream life. This is why it's like super important to have images of your dream life. If you have a sketch of, you know, the person that you would like to meet as a potential romantic partner or a list of where you want to live, again, your vision board, put some emotion into it. Like emotion is what charges the law of attraction, okay? keep that in mind and the king of cups is extremely successful because he uses his emotions for him and not against him against him right so just keeping everything like where you want it to be and keeping negativity in check 
and really not looking at the lack of something or the absence of something be grateful what for what is on its way to you so that's a really interesting card for connecting to your dream life okay so this next one is going to be also very important for you communication mishaps with yourself and others you got to watch the negative self-talk okay that can bring people down it's a slippery slope it's just a rabbit hole you can disappear inside of it um our shadow self and our inner saboteur they can give messages that are just so harmful um so be very careful try not to have flare-ups with other people you don't have to respond to any sort of negativity like really watch your tongue with people also um, you know, just be careful in your communications around this time because full moons and new moons are times of very like high emotionally charged scenarios. So I'm going to pull a card for that. Communication mishaps. Okay, so this could very well to do with money. Okay. There could be misinformation that you're giving yourself about money. Remember I was saying before to be grateful for things that are yet to manifest in your life. They're all available to you. Uh, the hardest part of alchemizing things into your life is time because sometimes it takes way too long. So stay patient with yourself. Continue to give yourself good messages about anything to do with your wealth and abundance. And if somebody owes you money or vice versa, maybe not discuss it at this time. People get really heated about financial situations, so be careful. This might not be a good time to negotiate a raise or a salary. Take your time. Don't respond immediately, you guys, especially if there is like an underlying emotional, um, you know, anger or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So very interesting new moon for you guys. Very interesting cards. So I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Just wishing you love and light. Many blessings. Take care. Bye.